Hey guys, it's Shan here. I am headed out to a local wildlife area. So we're gonna go in here today and do, um, do a little loop. There's two loops, there's a bigger loop, there's a smaller loop that's like two miles, or you can put them together endlessly and you know make a bunch of loops. I'm also practicing uh, in my ultras, uh, my newer ultras, my newer used ultras. <laughs> They were slightly used. I got them on eBay. Um, but for work and everything, I wear hokas and they're really jacked up. And I don't like hiking in shoes that are super jacked up. I like a um, zero drop shoe or an almost zero drop shoe to hike in, which my podiatrist would scream at me for. I don't like feeling uneven and unsupported on rocks and, and terrain that is not super level. So I need to be able to feel the ground and feel the rocks and everything, which comes with its own set of challenges and pains and stuff. It's just whatever works for you. A lot of you have expressed interest in seeing more Florida hikes and more of what it looks like to hike in Florida. There are a lot of alligators in this water. So there used to be some towers out there, not towers, what am I trying to say? Observation uh, decks. There were a couple of them out there and they've since removed those. So all these little slopes, this is sloping down over here, just like on this side. You gotta be careful because alligators, they will come right up or they'll just be laying there basking in the sun and you may not even see them and they may not even move. So if you're new to hiking in Florida, this is what the sand looks like. Millions and millions and millions of broken pieces of shells. My walking speed on my Garmin is always garbage because I stop constantly to take pictures and video. So I never have a good pace. <laughs> I can feel right now these ultras are rubbing. I love ultras. I did my first two through hikes in ultras, so I'm comfortable with them, but the topos do give me just a little bit more arch support. Looking at all the birds. are turkey vultures. They seem to be intently watching something down by the water. I have no idea what that is. So far I'm liking the sleeves, the sun sleeves. Of course my first instinct is to not have sleeves on at all in the heat because, you know, I'm from Florida. We wear tank tops and shorts and flip flops. And, you know, we're just so used to having sun exposed areas all the time. But again, I'm heading into a different environment where I'm gonna be out in it day after day after day. 
and I gotta protect myself. Okay, so this is the part at which you can cut off and go right, and it will be a shorter walk. And this is the longer way that has the wrong way sign where you cannot get out the other side because they have it all closed off. So I'll have to turn around and come back. Every day you should be doing something to get you one step closer to your goal. That's what I'm doing. I'm practicing what I preach and I'm getting out here and feeling like I'm actually doing something and moving toward my goals. Like I've got so much to look forward to. I've been dealing with a lot. So I'm really excited to be back out doing stuff again and more, you know, making more forward progression towards my goals. Even though I don't love Florida, this little trail here is pretty special. Oh, a fly. This is where I trained for my first hikes. I remember coming out here with loaded packs and I think the process is almost as much fun as the adventure itself. further <clears throat> this way are some really cool trails that lead all the way to the St. John's River. They're definitely more shaded once you get to a certain point. You have a couple miles on, on a track like this and then you can get into some more shaded areas, especially when you reach the river. There's um, picnic tables and shelter and stuff like that, so it's nice out there. I also trained out there quite a bit because it is a bit more interesting than out here. It looks like they've cut down some of this brush here so you can see way out onto that area I was telling you about. There it is. This is essentially what Florida looks like. And every bit of it, it seems nowadays, is being developed. This is where I came from around the marsh here. And right over there is where my Jeep is and where I'm gonna have to turn around because it is gated off. So, they weren't kidding about fire ants. Like I literally just stood for a second to take that video and I'm getting stung by fire ants. Fire ants are no joke, man. They hurt. All right, so I'm gonna turn around because I'm curious as to whether or not they did something with the other offshoot trail that used to be out here. After wearing the hokas for so long at work and the brooks, both of which are really jacked up in height, um, they've got a big difference heel to toe. Um, it's nice to get back into zero drop shoes. Now I do have an insert in there to give me a little bit of help. Keep my podiatrist happy. But I really do need to strengthen the areas of my feet that have kind of been babied over the last year. Hopefully this little mic is working because it's kind of windy out here right now. So I'm excited to be able to cut down on wind noise for you guys. I know it's irritating watching videos with wind noise. So that was one of my big investments this year was to get 
microphone system. I did have a drone as well, but I ended up sending it back because it just wouldn't do what I needed it to do. Woo, one mile. <laughs> So somewhere around that tower area, there used to be an offshoot to the right. And I don't think it exists anymore. I don't know. Like I had to have walked past it. Ooh, I heard a big splash. You gotta look along here because gators could be up here sunning. And just because there's not a lot of water on this side, doesn't mean they're not over there also. It's a little area right there with a little land bridge across that marshy area. It says no trespassing, so that's probably for park maintenance people only. That looks like all swamp, so there's no way I'd want to go down there anyway. It seems to me there used to be a bench here. Or maybe the bench is down that way. I don't know, but I'm gonna veer off to the left here and I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Oh, look at this guy. closed ahead. So maybe that is where I remember the offshoot being. And there used to be, I want to say over here, one of the observation towers. So we're going to go this way. This is where the path is closed right here. So my choice is to go around this way or go back the way that I came. So I'm gonna go back the way that I came. Something is for sure moving around in there. Well, I was hoping to be able to show you guys an alligator today, but I don't I haven't seen any. People think of Florida, they think of beaches and Disney, but this is what it's really like.
pretty big trail marker. <laughs> the humidity down here is so bad. It's just wet blanket hot, but the breeze today is nice. This part of Florida seems to be fairly breezy. is acting up. I have battled things like eczema and some other conditions that are exacerbated by the heat for most of my adult life and for someone who loves to be outside it's been really hard so the fact that we're moving to somewhere that's not going to be as humid or hot I'm just really excited for the changes ahead and how different it's gonna be. Hey, turkey vulture guys. They're still looking down at that same area of the water, so there must be something there. Hey guys. I'm about ready for lunch and a shower. It's another thing about being in Florida is showers a couple times a day are normal. Look at this guy with the pink feathers. My water is already warm. <laughs> it's already warm and I haven't even been out here a full hour yet. way to spend an hour even though I'm roasting. All right guys, I made it back to the car. As you can probably tell, I am dripping with sweat. It is now 86 degrees Fahrenheit, so not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I heard on the radio that a storm is rolling in, so that's probably why it's not as hot. It feels way hotter. Um, I'm dying, so I'm going to take these sleeves off. Yeah, they're wet. Ew. I did feel, hang on, I got to finish my garment here. There are now more cars, which is kind of unusual for this time of day. There, there are always photographers out here because it's a really good place to photograph birds and wildlife, um, but it's a brutal time of day to walk. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so as it helps me grow and make these videos even better for you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go home and get some lunch and get cooled off in the AC and I will see you in the next one. Bye.